If you do not have a budget, it is time that you start one right now for 2023, especially if you are in debt and you really want that financial freedom. This is what helped me pay off $30,000 in credit card debt. So come with me for the month of January. I'm going to be sharing with you guys my spending plan and my budget for the month. So stick around and keep watching. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kimberly and on this channel, we talk about ways to unlock your financial freedom by incorporating planning, productivity, and personal finance into your daily routine so that you can get smarter with money and take control of your 24 hours. So if this is the type of content that you enjoy learning about, go ahead and drop a key emoji in the comments to let me know that you are a new Hey guys, savvy. welcome back to my channel. Happy New Year. I wanna thank you all for supporting me as I started this channel in 2022, and I am manifesting great things for 2023. So this is another budget with me, and this is for January, 2023. You guys are going to see some changes throughout January, February, maybe March in my budget. Uh, hopefully these are going to be changes that benefit me. Let me know below what kind of changes you guys are going to be making for the new year for your budget. Let's jump right in. Let's talk about some things that you should consider when you're budgeting for the month of January. Now, of course, if you are making plans for New Year's, such as to go out, or maybe even to travel for the new year, make sure you are putting that in your budget. Definitely got to put that in. Also, of course, as always, if you are planning for any weddings, um, anniversaries, birthdays, or any kind of gifts that you may have to buy for someone special in your life, put that in your budget. If you have kids, you already know there are expenses that they may need around this holiday time. So go ahead and put those items in your budget. And of course, if you're traveling, put that in your budget. So these are just a couple of things I want you to consider putting in for January. Okay. So before I talk about my budget, I want to remind you guys of something that I posted probably maybe a month ago on how I plan to get one month ahead. One month ahead for me would be $5,000. So I already had a $100 cushion. And so I made this little schedule for myself to kind of, you know, hold me accountable for, you know, sticking to this goal that I've set for myself. So I've already made my December 2022 deposit of $1,000. So now I have a $2,000 cushion currently. In January, I'm going to make another $1,000 deposit. So I'll have a $3,000 cushion. And then in March, another $1,000, that'll be $4,000. And then in May, hopefully I will have my $5,000 cushion and I would have reached my goal. So this is my plan. I posted this in my community tab not too long ago. So you guys can check that out if you would like. So I will let you know in May if I reached my goal. But right now I'm on track to reach my goal. So I'm excited about that. Now, these are the three printables that I'm using to budget with. Remember, I've been using the Budget Moms printable since 2018 when I started my financial freedom journey. I paid off $30,000 in credit card debt and I've been using her up until last month. I think it was November or maybe December. I started using this printable. Okay, this is one that I created and I'm going to go through now and show you guys my budget. If you're interested in these printables, they, they are in my Etsy shop and I will link that below. Now let's take a look at my budget for the month. I'm going to zoom you guys in because I think last month I forgot to do that. And I want you guys to be able to see this, right? So here, um, again, this is for January. My income is $4,776.38. Here's my cushion. Remember, I'm at $2,000 for my cushion. So my rollover is $2,027.53. And then my total income is $6,803.91. Now remember, I do not calculate my cushion when I'm doing my budget. This is just a cushion that's going to stay in my account in case I ever need some extra funds. 
The reason why I want to get one month ahead because I want that security in my budget. All right, so let's look at the fixed expenses. And as I'm talking about these, if something has changed, I will try to update you guys. Remember, I have my expenses listed and then the actual amount of each expense. And then as I go through the month, once these things post to my credit card, because remember they're on auto pay to my credit card, then I'm gonna check them off, right? Okay, so we have tides of $470. Now my tides go to my sinking fund um, in one of my SoFi uh, vaults. That's where that goes. And then I have my rent, $995. Now this is on auto pay via my um, debit card because I can't do credit card. Spotify, $15.99. Uma, $6.59. Netflix $15.49. Remember I told you guys I went to the $9.99 plan? Well, I've changed it back because $9.99 only allows one person to watch at a time. So that was not going to work for me. Progressive is $100. Now this goes into a SoFi vault, a sinking fund, and I pay on this um, every six months. All right, then we have Vivint, my security system, $36.00 and 47 cents i've added hulu last month i added hulu i am a student so i was able to get it for one dollar and 99 cents then we have uverse which is my internet remember i told you guys about me being in the november challenge and i called negotiated this down to 55 dollars. it was 60 dollars. however when it posted to my credit card it was 50 dollars and 20 cents so we'll see if that amount comes through this month i will let you guys know all right then i have my son's cell phone for 46 dollars and seven cents and this is with straight talk so those are all of my fixed expenses and it totals 17 or 1737 dollars and 80 cents and now we're going to move on to variable expenses um, these are the expenses that will change from month to month um, right now, the total is $622.05. So I'm budgeting $60 for my water bill. Uh, gas number one, $45. Remember, I'm going to get gas twice a month. So you'll see gas one and gas two. Groceries, $130. Again, I'm going twice a month. You're going to see groceries one and groceries two. Electricity, $152.05 is my budget. And then I have my beauty or my manicure pedicure, $60. I'm going to get one or the other. And that's it for my variable expenses. So once these items hit my credit card, again, I'm going to write down the actual amount and I'm going to check it off. And um, we can add up that total here. The next section is my debt section. And right now I do have a car loan. Um, the car loan right now is $551.95. I am expected to pay this off hopefully by August. That is my goal for myself. Uh, and then I have Mohila. Of course, right now my student loans are on pause, so I'm not paying anything. And I have a special announcement about my student loan, you guys. I am going to hold off on that announcement though until I get some uh, clarification, but stay tuned for this announcement. Okay let's move up to the next section this is going to be my cash envelopes and i only have one because i'm not a cash envelope user i am a digital cash envelope user all of my um, cash envelopes if you will or sinking funds are in sofi but i do have this one it is for my son's haircuts it's going to be 40 dollars. so i'll go to the atm each month and pull out the 40 dollars okay moving on down to savings and sinking funds all right so i tell you in this column the bank account that i'm using for each one of my savings or sinking funds and then i tell you the amount that i am moving to these accounts each month and then once i move these amounts i transfer them i just check them off so i have sinking funds in sofa two hundred dollars now I do go in and I have another sheet where I list out specifically where I'm putting the $200 because I have about 20 SoFi vaults or sinking funds. So I put money in them as I need those funds or 
you know, based on when I need the funds. Okay, next I'm saving for another vehicle, this time for my son. So $125 is going into the Varro savings account. Then we have Wealthfront, where I'm saving for a college fund for him, $50. Then we have Ally Buckets. I'm saving for a graduation trip, $50. I have no idea where we're going. But, um, and by the way, I have parentheses, in parentheses goals of how much I want. These are just um, numbers that I put in, you know, we'll see what happens. Then we have Discover Savings. I'm saving for furniture for my new home that I am saving for, that I've already claimed for 2023. So I will keep you guys posted on that. And then we have Capital One 360. This is where I actually save for the down payment of my new home. $500 goes there every month. And then we have Navy Federal. I'm saving some money for the actual moving day. Maybe I need a U-Haul or something like that. $50 and then Capital One 360 I am saving money for um, some retirement funds that I need to replace so $100 for that so we have $1,125 going into savings and sinking funds next up you're gonna see a change this month in my investments let's talk about it okay so I decided to take off Vanguard and take off I think it's M1 Finance and also I took off TD Ameritrade and I'm just going to move that money over to Fidelity. I think I'm just going to stick with Fidelity for my accounts. I have three Fidelity accounts, an HSA, a brokerage account, and a Roth IRA and I think that's what I'm going to stick to from now on. I was testing out those other accounts to see what I like the best and right now I'm going with Fidelity. And then my son, I'm going to keep his with Charles Swap. So, $500 is on auto and it's going straight to that Roth IRA. I have $50 going into the brokerage. This is also automatic. And then 50 going into the HSA automatically. And then I have $100 going into his custodial account for a total of $700. So I had some space left over here. So I went ahead and added a note section for my um, printable so this is where i'm going to write down some notes for the month that i need to to write and so i have my zero based budget my total income minus minus my total expenses is going to give me zero so that is my budget for the month of january all right i want to talk about some things that you are not going to see in my budget you're not gonna see my health insurance or my life insurance that is automatically deducted from my paycheck. You're not gonna see my dental insurance or my vision insurance that's also automatically deducted. My personal cell phone is a business expense that's gonna be coming out of my business account so you won't see it on my personal budget. And then I have my household items such as you know, paper towels, tissue, things like that. I typically am going to get that using my Sam's Club sinking fund so you're not going to see that on my budget entertainment is typically going to come from my fun money sinking fund account and then fast food that can come from a variety of places uh, cash out money that I may have extra money gift cards and reward points I do a lot of reward points I use a lot of different apps to earn those points so that I can a lot of times get food for free now I hope by me sharing my budget with you guys this is some motivation for someone that is watching and if you are ready to start a budget or to um, I guess make some changes in your budget whatever it is go ahead and drop a key emoji below in the comments and let me know um, also, share your goals, share your journey. Let's have a discussion in the comments. I hope this information has helped you guys. Before I go, there is a video that I think you may be interested in, especially if you are loving my budget videos. And that is my video on how to plan ahead when you have extra income. So if you have another source of income or maybe you have a bonus check coming in, something like that. I have a video, it is called Do This Before Your Paycheck is Deposited. So check that out. Also, I have a printable that I show you how I use um, in the video. So 
If you're interested, check it out. I'm gonna link this video below as well. If you are loving this content, please like this video, subscribe to my channel, and hit the notification bell so that you are notified every time Edupreneur Diaries posts a new video. Thanks for watching you guys and I will see you in 2023.